You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV's iPad app reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, about a year ago, I had the opportunity to be a part of something that Levi's, the guys that make jeans, is something that Levi's sponsored in downtown New York City called the Levi's Photo Workshop. And it was this awesome space where anybody could walk in for free and learn all about photography. They had cameras and printers and workstations and studio spaces and strobes. It was just this amazing environment. Well, Levi's packed all that stuff up and they went over to Los Angeles and set up another workshop and it was called the Levi's Film Workshop where they taught people how to make movies. And it was a very similar experience where you could walk in off the street and use all kinds of cameras and learn the art of making film. Well, what they've done is Levi's has teamed up with a company called iSuper8 to bring part of that experience to the iPad. And so let's take a closer look at this app called iSuper8. It's an app that will help you learn how to make stories through movies right on your iPad. Let's take a look at iSuper8 Levi's Film Workshop Edition. So when we open this, the first thing that happens is up here it says loading cartridge. And what we've done is this is live, there's my hand. We've got Stunt Pig on a table ready to be film noir for us, Pig Noir. And so um, this is a very simple interface and it sort of emulates an old eight millimeter camera. And if you don't know exactly what you're doing, all you do is hit this info button and all of the instructions will show up right there. It's really cool. So let me show you exactly what these buttons all do. So you can have uh, two different looks for the case, which is just sort of the screen, uh, the wallpaper on your screen. So there's the iSuper8 Levi's Film Workshop and the standard. So let's go back to standard and you can see that that's just changed to a standard looking case. Now over here we can change the frame rate from 18 frames per second to 24 back to 12. So I'm gonna keep it 12 frames per second because I wanna look at old timey. Um, then you have your resolution. You can shoot a high resolution or medium resolution. And so I'm gonna keep that at medium resolution for right now. Now this little button right here to push, what that does is it goes into the develop module where you can actually develop your film is what they call it. I don't wanna do that right now. You can either do that and that gives you some custom function or you can hit Insta process, which just develops right out of the box and it's a little bit quicker. So first let's make a film. So I'm going to hit the record button right here. And so Stunt Pig is going to move side to side. Hello, I'm Stunt Pig. I will be doing movements for you. So there he goes. So he's doing all of his movements. Okay, now I'm gonna stop that. Now once we have that, we can process our film. So I'm gonna push this. That opens up the develop module. So there we go. Now here's our clip. And you can see that it's in low resolution, 480 by 360 at a 12 frame rate, 12 frames per second. And the film stock says undeveloped and the preset says undeveloped. So we haven't processed this film, so we need to do that. Now in this module right here, I can go through and if I click preview, I can look through and see what film stock I'm using. So this is the Levi's film stock and there's a little preview of what that looks like. And I can change this and so I can go through here and if I want, I can go back and say I want to go to a different film stock. So if I swipe back and forth, there's Levi's Film Workshop stock, there's True 8 100D, and it shows you what that looks like. So there's two that are free. And if I want, there are all these different film stocks that you can buy for, I think it's about a dollar. So I can go through, here is a different black and white, some Vibrochrome, there's some Super Chrome. So these are really neat. These are add-ons that you can get for your uh, films. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick with one of the built-in free ones. We're going to stick with the Levi's Film Workshop and this is an indigo hued film stock and so it's got a little summary right there. We'll go back and what we can do is we can even tweak that further by saying if we want more scratches and we want uh, less vignetting or more vignetting. You can see over here what's going on. Lots of film grain, not so much film grain. Some flicker. We can have the audio on and off. We can also do a film burn and uh, we can also have the leader in the frame on. So we're gonna use that. And now once we have that all set up, I'm gonna say develop this. And this is going to develop my film. Now it's going to print my film. So it's printing this. Now a large file can take quite a while. It says that, and it's true. It can take several minutes. And there's a little uh, info there if you are wanting to learn some while you're waiting for everything to go. All right, now that everything is developed and printed, let's take a look here. We have a couple of options. We can go in if we don't like how this preview looks, and I'll show you that in a second. We can develop it again. We can change our settings, or we can just throw it away, or we can share it with friends and family. So what I'm gonna do is first look at our little film here. Here it goes. Here. And so 
stunt pig is going to move side to side. You know I'm stunt pig. I will be doing movements for you. So there he goes. So he's doing all of his movements. Okay, that's the film that we shot, and that's stunt pig doing his stuff. Now, we like that, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click share, and look at all this stuff. So we can send it to iSuper8 so other folks can see it and judge stunt pig's performance. We can go in here and put it to our... Uh, photo album, which is what I want to do. I don't want to share that out right now. I can go to Facebook or Twitter or email. So I'm just going to put this right onto my photo album. And so I'll do that. And it's sticking it into the camera roll. Now I can go to the camera roll and watch this. And it's going to work just fine. And I also have some things that are hidden underneath here. So if I want to, I can go in. Let's say I already have an existing film that I want to develop. For example, here's one of my dog, Cody. And so we're going to use that one. And so it's going to compress the video first. And so this is great if you've shot something out and about um, or if you want to bring some kind of footage in from a different camera using the iPad camera connection kit. You can do that and bring everything right into iSuper8. So here's my dog Cody. And uh, now that we have this in, you can see that there is the clip up there. And I'm going to change this film stock to iSuper8. And I'm going to say I want to develop this. And so I'm going to let that develop and print really quickly. All right. Well, now that's all been developed and printed. And so we can go in and preview uh, my little movie of my dog, Cody. And I've turned the volume down here. And you can see that we're out in the backyard running around. And it looks a lot like an old Super 8 movie, which is exactly what I wanted. So it's a lot of fun to make these little films. And then you can share them out with friends and family and, and make sure everything works. Now, one more thing I want to show you that's really cool if we go back here to the camera, and that's this button right here. That's the feed button, and this is what makes this so interesting. When I click on that, what happens is this will load in what other people are doing. So when you share this out uh, to the iSuper8 community, if you share out your video, well, other people can watch those, and you can go and see what other people are doing, get some ideas, make your own little video. And we're not going to show any of these because we don't have the rights to do that. But you can see how fun it is to explore what other people are doing as well as share your own videos with the community out there in the world. Well, that's iSuper8 for the iPad, and it's just an awesome app, and it's free, so you can't go wrong. The thing I really love about it is it's community-based, so you can see what other people are creating, and you can refine your skills, and you can uh, add on some of those other film effects if you'd like for a little bit extra money, but it's totally worth it because you're not paying anything. It's free. So go out there and download iSuper8 and start making movies. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Remember, if you have a question about an iPad app or a suggestion for me, please send that to ask Mark at Adorama.com. Well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.